All right, we're looking at problem number 10 here. It is determined that a one liter sample of water contains 125 milligrams of calcium carbonate. We want to use that to figure out what the concentration of calcium ions is in parts per million. All right, since it's a parts per million problem, this is a parts by mass type problem. So we want to look at, um, well, specifically, we'd like to have the mass of just the calcium over the mass of everything. And then we're going to convert that into a ppm by multiplying it by a million. All right, so I'm going to do that top part first. Instead of writing down 125 milligrams, I'm going to write down uh, 0.125 grams of calcium carbonate. Now I need to convert this into grams of just calcium, and um, I'm going to do that. Um, I need the molecular weight of calcium carbonate, so calcium is 40.08 grams, a single carbon is 12.01, and there are three oxygens, so calcium carbonate has a molecular weight of 100.09, but only about 40 grams of that is actual calcium. So that's the molecular weight of calcium, this is the calcium carbonate. I'm going to use that to figure out the grams of calcium. Now the bottom is a little bit tricky. I didn't give you the um, right information, not necessarily. We're going to have to make an approximation here. Because I need to turn this liter solution into a mass, and I'm going to use that with the density of water. So I need to convert this into milliliters. And then one more step. Um, Normally on something like this, we'd want to know exactly what temperature the 125 milligrams is weighed, measured at because the density of water will change with temperature. But for the sake of this one, I'm just going to assume we're using relatively standard water that has a density of one gram per milliliter, which is where it is when the water is around four degrees Celsius. And then I'm just going to multiply this by 10 to the sixth, which is the one million. All right, so we got 0.125. We will multiply that by 40.08 and divide it by 100.09. Get something like that. And I'll divide that, and I'll do this whole thing in parentheses. 1 times 1,000. Oh, and then it just times 1. We get 5 times 10 to the negative fifth, which I will now multiply by a million to get the parts per million. So this is about 50.1 ppm.